So why do we have three glasses in front of us labeled tap, fridge, and RO? Well, here's why. Today on the Home Tip Show, we're gonna find out if the water that we get out of our Frigidaire refrigerator, which by the way is about 15 years old, the fridge that is, the filter's only from February of this year, but is the water from this Frigidaire refrigerator that's ran through its charcoal-based filtration system any better than the water that comes out of this tap? Or do we really need the reverse osmosis system that we have underneath our sink? We'll find out today on the Home Tip Show. Okay, for our testing today, we're gonna to be using what's called a TDS meter. A TDS meter, uh, TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solids. And it's just a very quick and easy measurement that you can, the water, to find out how much stuff is, is in there, how much dissolved stuff is in there. It's by no means meant to be the, you know, the best end-all uh, water test that can be performed, but for a reasonable amount of money, you can go on Amazon and buy yourself a TDS meter. Um, the particular one that I'm using today happens to be made by a company called, looks like Home Forest. And it wasn't the cheapest on Amazon, but it also wasn't the most expensive. Something somewhere in the middle of the line. So we'll go ahead and fill up our first glass with tap water. We'll let that sit for just a second. For our second test, we'll go ahead and move over to the refrigerator and we will fill this glass with water from the fridge that's been filtered. All right, so there's our fridge water. And finally, for our third test, we're going to test our reverse osmosis water. Okay, so we have all three cups uh, filled with the um, about the same amount of water. Uh, it's not enough to worry about the difference. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn on our meter for the first one. And we will check the tap water first. So the tap water, it turned, it turned red, which put it into what it called a warning area. And if you look at it, let's put it back down in there. Looks like it's steadying out, uh, let's say with a 53, about a 53. So we'll go ahead and uh, consider that on the tap water to be a 53. All right, so we'll go ahead and rinse it. And we'll hit the clear button. And now we're going to go into the fridge water. Looks like about a 47. And 47. We'll go ahead and try it one more time here. Yep, yeah, about a 45, 46, right in the 46, 7 range. All right, let's rinse this one now. And now we'll go to the reverse osmosis water. Looks like we're between a one and a three parts per million. So considerably uh, much cleaner water coming out of the uh, reverse osmosis system. So just to be sure, we're gonna go ahead and dump the tap water. We're gonna try it one more time. We're gonna dump the fridge water. Let's go ahead and just jump, dump the RO water, and we'll try that one more time. Okay, let's give it, let's give it another shot now. All right, 
So we're going to go ahead and do a clear. Let's rinse. All right, so we'll go into the tap water first. Around a 58 to a 59. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but um, it's like, looks like about a 58. Rinse it one more time. Let's go into the fridge water now. Oh, I need to clear it. About a 53 this time, roughly. Yeah, about a 53. And we'll clear it one more time and we'll rinse again. And we'll go into the reverse osmosis water. And we're right at uh, what appears to be a two. So according to the chart on the back of the, of the system, uh, of the TDS meter, it looks like um, a zero to 50 um, is generally pretty good. Um, once you start getting above, you know, I guess 100, you're starting to get into what they consider to be marginally acceptable area. Um, and then once you get into the, the 500 level, you're in the contaminated mark. So really all three waters are pretty good. Uh, the difference, however, between fridge water uh, going through the carbon filter and tap water, in my opinion, is negligible. Um, it's really not doing anything. So if you think that that, that, that little carbon filter that they've put in your refrigerator is anything close to a reverse osmosis system uh, like we have under the sink here. Uh, you are completely wrong. And let me tell you, the difference in taste between these two waters and this one, uh, is, it's, very, it's very much, um, it's very much different. You do taste contaminants. I taste chlorine and I taste a fishy smell in both of these. And in this, it it's the, the cleanest water I've ever had. So with that, we'll go ahead and wrap up for the day. Thank you all for watching. If you like this, please hit the like button. But more importantly, I need subscribers. So please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.